For the larger block we'd like to use, it is two and a half feet on a side, and we probably will end up using um, posts then that are probably either four inches in diameter or five inches in diameter, depending on, on which one actually is the, the, the better size. So we'd like to try that um, maybe somewhere here on campus or off campus and probably bring in a crew of 10 or 12 to, to see if it actually, if the idea will scale up. So certainly as you scale things up, not everything works the same as it did at the smaller scale. So it's, it's promising at this stage, but the, the larger scale will, will need to be tried before we can really say we're onto something that, that might have been useful for the pyramids. We use timber lock bolts to tie the poles together. We decided to use gripples and high tensile wire to attach the poles onto the block. The use of gripples means that we can tighten the wire using the gripple gun if they start to become loose during testing. Centralising the poles onto each face means the block should roll smoothly. With poles attached to two faces, we then proceeded to attach the final two sections to the block. All the preparation is now complete and we are ready to test the Indiana State Theory. When we started the day's testing, we wouldn't have believed the theory culminating in one man pushing over 2,000 pounds. Attaching the poles worked out really well with the gripples and the wire. I don't think it would have gone with the rope um, for a couple of reasons. One, I don't think we'd have got it tensioned up tight enough to hold it. Uh, and the other reason is I think as you're dragging it along, I think the rope would have worn out fairly quickly on the ground because of the weight of the block. Um, so the system we've used has worked really well. Um, rolling it, the best way to do it is to, to get it moving a little bit. Um, and then once it goes on the teeter point, it goes over and it actually starts to go quite easily then. Um, the, uh, the poles do move quite a lot. Like I said, I don't know whether it's a system they would have used in ancient Egypt because of the amount of time it takes to set up. That being said, one man can roll a one ton block once it's all done so you know maybe it would have saved time in that way so three 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 men rolling one of these blocks is quite easy two minutes doable one man it's it's just about doable um and yeah it is it's been a fascinating theory to try and um, i'm sure there'll be plenty of holes that people can pick in the way we've tried to do it but um but i think from that perspective it's, it's gone really well the one thing we did try and do was obviously wrap a rope around it and pull it um, whether it's the type of rope we were using because there was a lot of stretch in it or the fact that uh, you know you couldn't get the force to actually get it rocking um, but we, we couldn't move it a beam with that so that's one of those things that's not going to uh, you know we wouldn't be trying again I don't think so but um, but yeah I mean it's a, it's, it's an interesting one and uh, hopefully there'll be many more to come